Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University. This summer's challenge, and not today's challenge, today the the lesson today is about dismantling an eddy. Now here is the eddy that we have. As you can see it's pretty big. We have two months and a six inch dredge and some winches and come-alongs and things like that. So, let's take a look at the basic situation here. We have a river flowing this direction. These two large rocks have created a big eddy behind them. In the eddy are a number of pretty darn big boulders and a lot of smaller boulders, rocks, cobbles, etc. Now it's assumed that when the river's flowing, this being a straight section of river, the heavy gold's going to be going down the center of the channel or the deepest part of the river. I can't tell if they're the same without examining the bedrock, but let's assume that they're going down the center of the river because it's the fastest the shores slow water down as it goes past. The heavy gold should be going along this line here, roughly. This river doesn't have a lot of heavy gold. This river has fine gold, flaky gold, floaty gold, but it has a fair amount of it. So that's what these little speckles are. As the river's flooding in the springtime, those speckles are being carried down. Along the shore, they're getting caught in the boulders and stuff. It acts like, you know, vertical riffles, so to speak. There's a bit of a concentration along the shore, along the bottom. As these come in here and hit these big boulders, they're going to tend to pile up along them and create kind of a pastry going in here. Also, between these boulders, there is a hole. So these can be shot through that hole into this eddy, which will then slow it down. They'll tend to settle out. Previous testing indicated there was some pretty decent grades here. Nothing real exciting, you know, not multi-ounce per day or anything, but decent grades, workable grades. So, this is our situation. We want to essentially take this whole eddy apart and also work here. There may be a pay streak here of coarser gold and along the front. May not have enough time, but let's go into more detail and see what we can do. Okay, so here's more of a close-up of the eddy. Are these two gigantic boulders here, completely immovable, at least not without explosives and heavy equipment. We have three really large boulders and a number of smaller ones. So, plan is for phase one. Punch a hole right in here. We want to get that down to bedrock so we can start moving stuff into it. What we're doing, set the dredge here. So the tailings are going this way. Got a, got a long hose, got about a 30 foot hose, so we got plenty of hose, that's a good thing. Now, this is close enough here that we can throw or carry the rocks or even roll the boulders a short distance fairly easily. Now you can take a cobble and chuck it 50 feet without too much trouble. A fairly decent sized rock like this, you can throw that 30, 40 feet. That's a pretty good distance. So that's plan A. Punch this hole here, dump the tailings and the rocks in this area here. Not only will it tend to get them out of our way, next spring when the water comes through it'll just wash it all downstream, but also as the water level drops during the summer this will tend to dam up the water just a little bit and create deeper and slacker water 
in this eddy for us to work in. It may become especially important if we have the time to get out to this point here and this current is a real issue. Now, later in the summer, water should only be about this deep, so shouldn't be that much of a problem. But when we started, it's more this deep and running pretty quick. So, phase one. Move all the cobbles, rocks, and everything that we can to here, and dump the dredge spoils in that area. Here's what it looks like at the beginning of phase one, a couple days into it. Now, phase two, we have some boulders here, and these big boulders here. The idea is, because we don't have anything out here to pull them very well, we've got to go all the way across the river to get an anchoring point. We've got a tree over here, got a rock over here. so. Start using this to drag rocks, the larger rocks, the ones too big to move by hand, in this area here. This one here, we pulled to there. And everything else we pulled up here. And now, this becomes our rock disposal area. We hadn't completely cleaned this to bedrock, but we're just sacrificing it. We're not going to be able to get to that until the next really big flood wipes it out again. So, at this point, phase two, got a hole here. We got a, we got a pretty large rock right here. We're going to dig a hole here, down to bedrock, then we can pull this rock in here, and the medium-sized rocks here can all come into this area here and be disposed of. That'll be phase two. That will open up this section of bedrock here, which will then clear out. Then the next bunch of rocks can be pulled in. And we'll just take this in slices across the entire eddy, pulling to our anchor point in a series of arcs, pulling the big rocks, cleaning it down to bedrock, pulling more big rocks, until we've completely exploited this entire eddy. Once we've done that, if we still have time, we'll come down in here and start dredging in this area and See if we can work our way around the corner here. See if there's a good pay streak here. By putting it to last, the water level will be low, much more workable. That's the strategy for taking this all apart. If we don't have a strategy, we're just going to wind up <laughs> moving rocks a million times. So here we are in our little eddy. There's the thread. There's the viewpoint where I was taking pictures from above. And here's the big rocks we've already moved so far. And medium and small rocks are just being stockpiled there. Meanwhile, he's going to dredge this out here. And then we're going to move this rock and there is pyramid rock there moved off now I've exposed the bedrock clean that up a little bit across the way and stage two will be complete ready to move the rocks for stage three very important when you've got a multi-day task or a single pay streak or whatever use your brains start at the beginning work your way through so that you're shoving stuff behind you at all times preferably downhill down slope or towards your anchor point 
whatever. Sometimes if you had a pastry, like say there's this pastry here, okay? You want to start here and then work your way upstream so that all your tailings, all your cobbles, all your boulders go behind you. The current assists you. A lot of your tailings get swept well downstream. So always have a good strategy and work the strategy. It gets tempting to go, oh, there's a juicy spot there. Let's go. No, work your way into it. Figure out what time, what tools you got, and make sure you finish the job in as efficient a method as possible. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.